Welcome back to one more interesting and exciting class of science. I am Parth Dawda and this video is for class 8. Today we are going to learn about synthetic fibers and plastics. Let's get started. So let's begin with the introduction first of all. In form 7 you have studied about some natural fibers like cotton, hemp, wool and silk. In this particular module we shall be discussing about the synthetic fibers which are also known as the man-made fibers. So let us see what are the objectives of this whole module. So at the end of this lesson you will be able to discuss about the synthetic fiber and its types, the characteristics of synthetic fiber, various uses of synthetic fiber and also the advantages and disadvantages of synthetic fiber. So let's join all the paper clips in one single line. What do you observe? This is the same organization present in any polymer. Each polymer is made up of with smaller units named as monomer. It is obtained by chemical processing of petrochemicals and so synthetic fibers are example of a polymer. Can you name some synthetic fibers which are used in our daily lives? I hope you might have heard about few very common synthetic fibers like rayon, nylon, polyester and acrylic. So let's see the very first fiber which is rayon. Now rayon is a semi-synthetic fiber having properties that are similar to silk. Rayon is obtained by chemical treatment of wood pulp. Now since it is main made as well as wood pulp is used so it is known as semi-synthetic fiber. It looks exactly like silk. Rayon can be dyed in a variety of colors. Rayon is mixed with cotton to make bed sheets and it is mixed with wool to make carpets. Do you know which is the first fully synthetic fiber? It's nylon. Nylon is prepared from coal, water and air. The first thing made out of nylon was toothbrush bristles. Why nylon is so popular for making clothes? Well, because it is strong, elastic, light, lustrous and easy to wash. Nylon can be used for making socks, ropes, tents, car seat belts, sleeping bags and curtains. Nylon is also used for making parachutes and ropes for rock climbing because it is very very strong fiber. The next fiber is polyester. What does the polyester word mean? Well, polyester is made up of with two words, poly and ester. Many repeating units of ester chemical together is referred as polyester. It is widely used to make shirts because it remains crisp and it is very easy to wash. It does not get wrinkled easily. Have you heard about the word terilin? Well, terilin is also a type of polyester. It can also be mixed with cotton to make terricot. It is widely used in the textile industries to make saris. Have you heard about pet bottles? These pet bottles are used to store things like sugar, salt, etc. It is also widely used to make wires and bottles. To protect us against the cold winters, we wear sweaters, shawls and use blankets. Do you know that many of these are actually not made from natural wool? Though they appear to resemble wool. You would be wondering how these are prepared then after all. 
these are prepared from acrylic fibers these are synthetic fibers made from polyacrylonitrile acrylic is lightweight soft and worn with a wool like feeling can you think of any advantage of acrylic fiber over the wool obtained from the natural resources well wool obtained from the natural resources is quite expensive clothes made from acrylic are relatively cheaper than the woolen clothes acrylic clothes are available in a variety of colors which is not possible in the natural wool every time by now you know what makes synthetic fibers more popular than the natural fibers let us recall the characteristics of synthetic fibers which makes them so popular amongst us because of high strength of synthetic fibers they can easily bear heavy loads without breaking so these fibers are durable fabrics made of these fibers soak less water hence they dry up very quickly they do not get easily wrinkled and hence are convenient to wear the fabric made from synthetic fibers has great elasticity so it can be easily stretched these are less expensive thus affordable fabrics made of these fibers are readily available and easy to maintain do you know that besides having many advantages synthetic fiber have few disadvantages also synthetic fibers are mostly uncomfortable to wear during summers since these trap our body heat and do not absorb sweat so it is also unsafe to use them during cooking as well as while bursting firecrackers since they have originated from the petroleum products so students let us summarize what we have learned synthetic fibers are polymers these are classified as rayon nylon polyester and acrylic depending upon the types of chemicals used for manufacturing these dry up quickly are durable less expensive readily available and easy to maintain these are used in men making many articles like ropes tents carpets bed sheets containers bottles etc fabrics made of synthetic fiber can readily catch fire and melt on burning so after the part of synthetic fiber let's head towards the part of plastics if you are enjoying the video please do share and subscribe this channel so let's begin with the introduction if you observe your kitchen shelves you will be able to see a lot of plastic containers plastics have taken so much of importance in our lives that we have replaced materials like aluminium steel and glass with plastics so let us find out more about plastics in this lesson where you will study about their general properties and their importance in our daily life so at the end of the lesson you will be able to define plastics define thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics explain the characteristic of plastic and its importance in our everyday life and also you will be able to discuss the harmful effects of plastic on our environment we get the name plastics because of their properties to be molded cast or processed into a variety of forms it is chemically obtained mostly by synthesis of petroleum and natural gas like synthetic fibers plastics is also a type of polymer which is made up of by joining many small similar units do all plastics have the same type of arrangement of units no some plastics have a linear arrangement whereas others has a cross linked arrangement have you ever observed what happens when a polythene bag is burnt yes it melts and you can see its droplets falling off apart from the pungent smell it produces 
Do all plastics melt upon burning? Let us find out. There are two types of plastics based on their reaction upon being heated. These are thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics. The constituents unit of thermoplastics have a linear arrangement comps, disposable cutlery, CD and DVD cases. Thermosetting plastics have a cross-link arrangement of their constituent units. These can be melt and takes shape once and once only. Once they solidified, then they stay in the same shape forever. On heating, they do not become soft. Bakelite and melamine are two examples of thermosetting plastics. The familiar electrical switches, handles of utensils are made up of bakelite as it is a poor conductor of heat and electricity. Whereas melamine is used for making floor tiles and kitchenware and certain fabrics as it is fire resistant. Why are plastics so widely in use? The plastic containers are mostly used for the storage of food grains, pickles, salt and spices. Since these are relatively non-reactive and impermeable to moisture. Since plastic is a poor conductor of electricity, the electrical wires have a plastic coating. Did you ever notice that the utensils which are used for cooking have plastic handles? Plastic being poor conductor of heat, we can therefore easily hold the handle of a hearty utensil. Not even a single day passes when we haven't seen or used an object that is made up of plastic. As it is light in weight, so it is used to prepare parts of cars, spacecrafts, aircrafts and boats. Due to its strength, these are extensively used in the healthcare industry for packaging of tablets as threads used for stitching, syringes, doctor's gloves and a number of medical instruments. Have you ever observed a black color coating on the frying pan of dosas? Well, there is a special type of plastic named as Teflon. It does not allow any water or oil to stick on it. You would be amazed to know that they are also fireproof plastics. Yes, the uniforms of firemen have coating of melamine to make them flame resistant. Can we imagine a life without plastic? No, we surely cannot because it is an alternate resources in the times of our dwindling natural resources. But what price have we paid for it? We know that plastics being a synthetically derived substance is not biodegradable. Since the enzymes required for its decomposition are absent in the decomposers such as various fungi and bacteria. Thus the heap of plastics are collected and dumped in the landfills. They will stay there for several hundred years releasing toxic chemicals into the soil and nearby water resources also. As plastics forms a cover on the ground surface because they are impermeable to water, the rainwater would not be absorbed into the soil, thus diminishing our underground water reservoirs. You must have seen cows struggling to take out food from the plastic bags thrown near the garbage heaps. These can choke their respiratory system and can cause into death. So it can be very very dangerous and life taking thing for a cow to eat plastics. On burning plastics, it releases toxic fumes into the atmosphere. Other plastic menace is the choking of drains, which leads to their overflowing and flooding during the rains. We can replace plastic shopping bags with the jute bags or handmade paper bags. On roads, use the dustbins which are marked as 
biodegradable and non biodegradable for respective waste products sell plastic scraps to the scrap dealer for recycling adopt the 4r principle reduce reuse recycle and recover let's summarize what we have learned plastics are polymers thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics are two important types of plastics plastic is non reactive light strong and durable and a poor conductor of heat and electricity plastics find extensive use in healthcare industry building materials and pipelines on burning plastics they release poisonous gases plastics take several years to degrade because of their non biodegradable nature adopt 4 rs reduce reuse recycle and recover so students this is the end of chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastics hope you are clear with the concept question and answers will be posted in the next video goodbye and stay safe thanks a lot for watching the video till here if you loved it do share and subscribe keep learning because learning is fun